here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set, getting the nod in this one, Ranger Suarez. Chris, what are you looking for from him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And a pitch. That one down the line and foul ball. The wind of the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field, and there's one down. The center field, number 11, Rafael. Here's Rafael Devers. Devers, the baby faced assassin. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That misses oh, the zone, that's the and that's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. One and two now. That's inside. Two and two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And now it's filled up. Okay. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Popped up. Harper has a beat on it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That is third. The third base is number two, Justin Turner. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Justin Turner. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. There's a strike. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Turner checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Did not go. Kicks and fires. Hit hard on the ground is short. Turner with the throw to first. That's out number three. Red Sox go down quietly. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here in Philadelphia and getting to start. Tanner Howe. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. And a pitch. Kyle Schwarber stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Chris remember the Cubs won it all in 2016 well Kyle Schwarber suffered a regular season ending left knee injury two oh, games into the year April 7th he had torn ligaments in that knee the 2 1 but he was added to the World Series roster and became the first position player to collect a hit in the World Series after going hitless during the regular season. He still has the text from Theo Epstein that said, you made the World Series roster. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Here's Trey Turner. Come on, let's keep it going. Spikes that one, it goes to the backstop. To second, but way too late, safe there. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Two balls, no strikes to count. Just nope. off the Robert. outside edge. Runner at second, nobody out. In for a strike, now three and one. The pitch. Line the other way, that's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner. And they strike first as they take a one nothing lead. And in its second with an RBI double. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it. Here's Harper now. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting four. The third baseman. And now it's Alec Bohm. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots and that's in there for strike one well I think it's the ability to assess the situation understanding what the pitcher has what he's trying to get people out on and then being able to use the entire field next offering misses and that is ball one. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Here's a one-two. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I'm not sure that was the exact the location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that would go through the zone. This is Bryson Stott. In there, and it's 0-1. Turner on third with two out. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. Popped up. Under it is Justin Turner to make the catch. <laughs> Phillies with the run scoring double. It's now 1-0.
Back at Citizens Bank Park. Second oh, inning, set to go. So stepping in for Boston, Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. And he deals. Ball one there. Line drive, base hit right field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Snap throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a pitch. That one missing inside. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. And yeah, the next pitch is way outside. On the ground, two ball. Over to Turner for one. How about that double play? I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. So two balls and no strikes. And there's a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Kicks and deals. And there's a foul ball. On the ground, right side. Harper steps on the bag, and the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies one, and the Red Sox nothing. We head to the bottom of the second, go, and up to the Philly. plate is JT Real Muto. The right hander back to work. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. Righty delivers. Hard hit, right side. And Real Muto is out. That is up. The white field. Yeah. Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They say it went. Yeah, the right hander deals. That's the ball. Two balls, one strike. And another ball. Three and one. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. 
Makes the grab. Two down. Batting in the left fielder. Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And digging in that for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. In there at the knees. And that is strike one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy... When you watch him play, you would imagine that oh that's God, all he good. ever played in his life was the outfield. Next pitch oh, inside, up. two and one. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talked about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Two one now. And that one pulled foul. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Here's a 2-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One hit, one left. We play two full. It's the Phillies one and the Red Sox nothing. On to the third inning. Now at the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. The first base is Bobby Dahlbeck. Suarez back to work. Strike one. No ball. One straight. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. And a foul ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Dahlbeck stands at second with no outs. And now the count is even. Here comes a pitch. No. One, one. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Here's a two two. Good eye right there. Connor Wong waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Three and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
Left hand batter waits. And ball four to a board. Pretty good pitch on 3 2, right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. That's in for a strike. Looked like it was a little bit up. One ball, one strike. First and second here, no outs. Got him. Now one away. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 with a fly out. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left handed hitter facing a left handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. On the inside corner for a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Field two. Grounder might be two. Over to Turner for one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3, inning ending double play. Here in Philadelphia, except for the bottom of the third, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Schwarber, in his eighth season, hitting leadoff in today's game. And though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. We'll take a look at the three pitch no sequence number, here. Number. Pretty simple Short in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Trey Turner now. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. At the belt and fires. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first. Turner is out. Now bad. First base is right. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. Grounded out his first time. Certainly you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment, game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Harper, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former National League MVP. Hit on the ground to the right side. Over to Dahlbeck. That's the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they're on top, 1-0. And welcome back. Out of the fourth, leading off, Rafael Devers. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. 
The pitch. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Sends it to first, and Devers is set down. Now that third base. Justin Turner now grounded out his first time. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Castellanos ranges back and out of here. A shot to the opposite field, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. Just a nice job, recognizes off speed as that leg hangs in the air a little bit, but he gets it down, hits against a strong and firm front side, and that's uh, knocking a cheesesteak out of somebody's lap. <laughs> I would be upset if somebody knocked the cheesesteak out of my lap, I'll tell you that. I don't think that's possible. You're too quick. And the 1-0. Just oh, missed. Oh. Suarez, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Takes it in for the out. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Here's Trevor Story now. 0 for 1 so far. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. 1-1 one, one now. And that's in the dirt. That one misses in the dirt. And now the lefty. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Abreu in the box now. No balls and a strike. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Rojas under it. Squeezes it. And that is that. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. All even at one apiece. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Alec Bohm. The pitch. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Just a weak fly ball this time. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now back. The second base. Hit. And stepping in is the speedy Bryson Stock. First time up was a pop out. And that's in there for strike one. two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here here's the 0-2 and a swing and a miss one away 
stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. And now it is JT Real Muto. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Next offering is in for a strike. Boom. Leads off first with one away. Next offering is down low. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And down on strikes. Two away down. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch no, after giving up the right leadoff right. single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Castellanos in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Can't glove it cleanly, but in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. One left for Philadelphia, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. And a pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Red Sox, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. They're just not doing a very good job of hitting off the fastball, and that's a pick. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. The heater can be a tone setter for a pitcher, but if it's not effective, it goes the other way. It becomes a tone setter for the offense. They just haven't been able to do much with it in this one. The one-two. Good eye right there. Three balls. Two strikes. Line drive, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Go ahead, run on base. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. He reached out a walk his first time. Check swing went around and it's 0 and 1. Rudder at first with no outs here. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. Struck out swinging his first time. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So. When you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The next offering misses. And one and one. Roll to short could be two. The underhand flip over to stop for one. And that's two. 
They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. And he deals. That one to first. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johan Rojas. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. On the ground to the left. Save! Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. So the lineup flips over. Here's some real power at the plate. Kyle Schwarber singled and scored back. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And he throws it away. Runner around third. He'll score easily. And it's a one-run game. Now just a total breakdown defensively right there. I mean, allowing a run to score all the way from first because of an error pretty much shouldn't happen. But every once in a while, we see one of these weird plays, and it leaves everyone kind of scratching their heads. And now it's even up. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on no him for a little while. Seven. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Turner stands in here, takes ball one low. Next pitch misses way outside. And the righty deals. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. On the warning track. And hauls it in. One run, one hit, one error, and no one left on. We're through five. It's the Phillies two and the Red Sox one. We go to the top half of inning number six. And now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. Suarez back to work. And ball one to the right fielder. Swings through that one for strike one. The lefty ready and a 1 1. He swings and fouls one off. 1 2 now. On the ground. And that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Got him! And one away. Now it's Devers at the plate. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The 
There's a strike. Devers, 26 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. And that is in for a strike. 0-2. Oh All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. So now Turner in on that right side. Inside and it hit him. Well, clearly that one just got away from him. Everything was going so well in this inning, and we'll see if he can get back into the strike zone here. Next is the designated hitter, Masataka Yoshida. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Two outs. On the ground right side. He'll do it himself, and that'll do it. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Phillies 2 and the Red Sox 1. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's Four Bryce Harper. Harper. The first base. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances and a rookie of the year to boot Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised ball to strike the pitch into the outfield base hit so a man on base to start the inning couldn't have timed it up any better than that we've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against ball hitters but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. So, man aboard. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age. But he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. No. First pitch just misses. Swing and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back singles. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Tanner Hout won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Zach Kelly will take over here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable and a pitch ground ball right side could be two the throw to second to dull back double play sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them right there Really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. 
JT Real Muto steps in. First offering oh. and it just misses. And that's outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Good hitters count the 2-0. That oh. one missed. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Pavetta is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Whitlock getting cranked up as well. Harper at third with two away. Ground ball left side. Rolls across the diamond, and the inning is over. Philly strand one. They lead it 2 1. Back at Citizens Bank Park, here's Trevor Story. The wind of the pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. The tying run at the plate. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now battle. The left fielder, Will your Abreu. Here's the left fielder, Will your Abreu. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. First ball. offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. And that drops in for a strike. And that's a little bit high. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Ranger Suarez won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets the call from the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Move to first. Abreu dives back in safely. Pitch misses inside. And it's 1-0. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And here it comes. Runner on the goal. Fouled off. He was late. And another ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Over to first and he's safe. One run game, one out, one on. And that is cut on and missed. Two and two now. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Now move to first. Right. 
Now all leave it up. Hammered on the line. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. A strikeout and a walk. And that one is lifted in the air. Rojas sizes this one up and it's caught. Runner tagging for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And there's the strike. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next one misses, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike. And that one a little bit high. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Big spot. Two out, both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Hard liner. Down the line, and it's foul. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Stays alive. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So a job well done from the Philly bullpen that time. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies two, and the Red Sox one. Bottom of the inning, and now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Upstairs. Oh. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And Castellanos is out. One down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Brandon Marsh now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Next offering misses down and away. And a pitch. That one just misses. It's a good take. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. That's out number two. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. There's a strike at the knees. Yeah, the count even one and one. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Next pitch is outside. Outside. 
into center. Devers sizing this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Matt Strom. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and now close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The pitch. Wong in the box now takes strike one action in the pen down there Jose Alvarado the closer is getting loose kicks and deals good eye in that spot one ball one strike The 1 1. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The pitch. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Alex Verdugo on deck for Boston. And a pitch. That clips a corner. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Harper makes the play, one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. So up next, Alex Verdugo. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Infielder shifted to the right. Shortstop just to the left of second. In there for strike one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Looking to get the tying run on base. No. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that is that. Red Sox go down one, two, three, and they trail it here, two to one. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Called strike right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Turner, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Gets the call, and it's nothing in two. Turner started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held up. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Knocks it down. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. And now here is Harper. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit throw first and Turner's back in Turner stands at first with one out that one hammered center field that's back and that one is going to go a soaring shot to center. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark really nice job base is empty one away Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies and that's in for a strike Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. And he swings over the top there. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Righty to the plate. Still only one out here in the inning. Sets him down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. So two down now, and here is Bryson Stock. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. The wind and the pitch. Lifted in the air down the left side. That gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. And digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Come on, Billy. Let's go. He's going. 
Rudder takes off. Pitch is high. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Two outs and one in scoring position. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Stop. Around third. He'll score. It's 5-1. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. He had a run. A new arm into the game, the righty, Nick Pavetta. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. So two down, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. That pitch in for a strike, going one. Man at second. Swings through that one. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. The 0-2. Swing and a tapper. Gathers and throws to first. Inning over. Three runs, four hits, no errors, and one man left. Through eight full, it's the Phillies five and the Red Sox one. Back here in Philadelphia, Turner climbs in on that right side. Strom measures six feet two inches, 31 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of North Dakota. Strom back to work. And ball one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Michael Lorenzen, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Kimbrell getting loose as well. And now the lefty and fouled off. Up the middle, Trey Turner gloves it. On the run, sends it over to first. And a quick out number one. The designated hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Back-to-back no -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. At the belt and fires. And that misses off the outside edge. Here's a 3-0. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a pop up. And it stays fair. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. One out, runner at second. 
So stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Yoshida, the runner at second with one away. Come on now, let's here. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The one two. Two, two. And that's the strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So they're down to their final out. Now the left fielder, Willier Abreu. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. And that one missing low. Next offering way off the plate. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to first on the run. And that'll do it. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.